good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day and Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another episode of My Damn Hauls. I think it's been like three freaking months since the last episode, so I'm super excited to get back into it with you guys. We got the trusty knife returning to the house. We got some epic stuff right here, a fan mail package as well as a package from our good old friends over at Jazzwares who hooked us up with this amazing package right here that I'm excited to get into. Never seen these things before, but they look super sweet sweet, nasty farticles, and we are going to dive into these, but we also have a great fan mail package sent by my boy Ty that we're going to open, and it's massive, guys. It's freaking massive. It's super heavy. I don't know what's in there, but we're going to find out here together, and uh, this literally, this thing had to be just Jesus Christ. It feels like 25 pounds or something like that, but anyways, I do want to start off by saying a huge shout out to Jazzwares for making this part of the video possible for hooking us up with these domes figures. There's like these WWE Legends collectible mini domes figures and we're going to dive into these things as we spin it to the right guys you guys can see right here they're like collectible mini figures and a uh, huge shout out to Jazzwares again for making this possible and hooking us up with these domes figures if you guys do not know Jazzwares are the people that make the AEW figures they are making the AEW figures and they are responsible for some great content and some great figures coming our way this year that you're not going to want to miss out on but I want to cut this thing open and I want to see what we get because I do want to see what all we got in this thing because it looks very unique and that little window right there broke and now I feel horrible but it looks like you cut it right here and then you open it up and it's like one of those storefront thingamajigs where you know you go get the candy as you're leaving the store and they would be right there as you I think this is supposed to open all the way but it's not opening for me so we're just going to take these things out here and we're just going to remove all this I love that we have the whole display right here that's freaking nice my god there's way more than I expected it says there are nine to collect, and it looks like they put 29 up in this thing. So on the back here, it does say you get Andre the Giant, Undertaker, Jake the Snake, Roberts, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Ric Flair, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sting, and a Chase character, Conception Rare. So I don't know what that exactly means, but we're going to find out together. Well, we already know that we have Rowdy Roddy Piper because he's up here in the little front viewing window, and I'm going to crack him out of jail right now. So there you go, Rowdy Roddy Piper and his little glass dome thing, and these are called domes by Jazzwares, and these look freaking sick. I'm really excited to crack all these open. So should I crack them all open, or should I mystery bag them? I guess we're just gonna one by one open them, and I'm just gonna open it, show you what it is. Maybe we'll get a sick mystery bag them. Maybe we'll get a really cool chase variant. Well, let's go ahead and find out. Three, three, two, two, one. one. Got a blast. All right, so the first one we got out of there was The Undertaker. Next up is Andre the Giant. And I think they also stack, so I think you can, like, put them on top of each other or something like this. So that's really sick. You can actually, like, connect them like that and make, like, a cool background. So that's really sick right there. Let's see who's next. We got Sting. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin. We got another Sting. I'm sure we're gonna get some duplicates because that's just the nature of these things. But hopefully we get that little Chase mystery bag. Another Undertaker. Good God, that one like launched across the thing. I, th I wanna say it's either Macho Man Randy Savage or Stone Cold Steve Austin. Another Stone Cold Steve Austin, beautiful. It looks like this one is Macho Man Randy Savage. Love to see it. We got another Andre. We, oh, snap. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the little Chase variant Undertaker. Booyah. It's like a clear, ghostly Undertaker. That's sick AF. So there you go. The Undertaker in the regular version, and then you got the clear version. Love to see it. Now we just got to collect them all. We got to make sure that we get every single one in the series. We got another Rowdy Roddy Piper. We got Jake the Snake. Sick AF. We got the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. We got another Rowdy Roddy Piper. Are we even missing any more? I think we have every single one of them already. So now we're just winning, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're just stacking up. Now everything else, everything else is just bonus at this point. How about pulling a second Chase Undertaker? How about that? Another Jake the Snake. Another Macho Man. All right, last two. Can we pull another Chase Undertaker? Macho Man again. All right, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Last one. Can we pull it? Can we pull a second Chase Undertaker? 
and another Nature Boy Ric Flair. So there you go. Beautiful. These things are really sick. I love it. I'm definitely going to make like a little display out of these things or something like that. We'll definitely get some use out of them here on the channel. But another huge shout out to Jazzwares for making these possible. I think they're really sick and I appreciate them for sending these our way. So a huge thank you to Jazzwares for the hookup on the domes figures. And now that we have taken a look at those guys, let's go ahead and dive into Ty's package with the massive fan mail unboxing. All right, guys, so before we dive into the fan mail unboxing, a huge shout out to my boy Ty again. Go follow him on Instagram. Huge shout out to you, bro. I cannot wait to dive into this again. I don't know what's in here. Uh, it's a fan mail unboxing. It's very heavy. There's so much in here. I don't know what the hell is going to be happening, but you guys know as well as I do, we cannot get into the package without the good old trusty knife. All right, guys, so we're going to take the knife out of the package and slit it over here on this side, give it a little cut seat, spin it, give it a second little cut seat, cut it down the middle one good time, such as so. Open it up and dig into the contents. Now, I don't know what's in here. Again, we're just going to pull this thing out one by one. And we're going to find out together because that's the whole, that's the, that's the funnest part of the damn unboxing videos is finding out what we got. And I think this is just packing paper to make sure that, you know, we don't get any damage to the figures. So if anybody wants this, I'll ship it to them for free. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Let me move this ish because it's getting on my last damn nerve. All right, so diving in, guys. Holy Christ, we have an Al Snow. Jax. Is this the Bone Crunchers? I think this is a Bone Crunchers figure, and oh my god, look at his eye socket. I think his eye is literally coming out of the socket right there. Oh, thank god, it was just a little piece of phlegm on his eye socket there. So that, that's good. Al, Al Snow is, is not dying, even though he has helped me on his forehead. I used to have Bone Crunchers back in the day when I was growing up. As a kid, these were, uh, so I owned a bunch of these actually. I don't think they were releasing as, the, as I was growing up, but they were I had them in my collection. Next up, guys, we have a Mattel Best of Pay-Per-View Elite Bret Hart figure that I have never personally owned. This one is very unique. Old school Bret Hart. Got the Bret Hart t-shirt on there. Got the John Cena short mold on there. Very nice figure. Never owned this before. That's sick AF. Thank you, bro. Next up, we have another Mattel figure, and it is a, oh my God in heaven, another figure I've never owned. This is like a little custom fix-up together. This is like a WrestleMania 36. John Cena from the Fiend match pretty much in the NWO shirt. He made like a little fix up. I think this is supposed to be, I can't remember if this is supposed to be a Scott Hall figure or was it Zabiska? I cannot remember for the life of me what base this is, but he made it into a John Cena with the World Heavyweight Championship or the WCW Championship with the NWO spray paint on. That's badass, bro. Next up we have another Bone Crunchers and it is the Dude Love Bone Crunchers figure. I think these are the Bone Crunchers. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is, and I know a lot of people used to use this head sculpt on their Mattel Dude Loves until we got the one from Mattel, so that's pretty interesting. We have another, oh my god, the Vince McMahon. The Vince McMahon Bone Crunchers figure? I think this is Bone Crunchers. Again, I, I could be wrong about that, but I own so many of these, man. I think I own this exact one. That's hilarious. I love the throwback figures. Next up, guys, we have, I don't remember the series, but I remember how freaking hilarious these figures were. This is great, man. It's like a flashback. An Eddie Guerrero I cannot, I think it was it the finishing moves line is what this is called. Latino heat on there. Oh my God in heaven, guys. See, people like to complain about the Mattel figures. Like, what if you were a kid and you got this? You, you unpackage this. This. Next up, guys, I see a beautiful looking Bret Hart WCW. Is this a Toy Biz WCW Bret Hart? Is this what this is? With the freaking Lucy Goosey shoulder and the Dr. Op glasses? Beautiful looking figure. I love throwback figures like that, bro. This is, this is sick. Next up, guys, we have a Rock Jinder Mahal Fix Up Basic. You love to see this. Nice red knee pads going. You got the rock head sculpt on there on the Jinder Mahal body. Next up, guys, we have a Coco Beware Jax figure. Oh my God in heaven. I don't know how we don't have a Coco Beware Jax Jax figure. We don't have a Coco Beware Mattel figure just yet. I'm so surprised at that. But this is actually a really good figure. Like, look at that head sculpt right 
there. Jax used to make everybody, bro, I swear. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a custom Elite Breeze slash Young Bucks fix-up custom thingy. And I think I'm actually going to make him custom Young Bucks out of this, so I think that's what this is. So we do have a Young Bucks part piece right here that I'm going to make into his own Young Bucks. And speaking of which, we also have a Kenny Omega right here. And uh, this is the base that he wanted me to use for the Kenny Omega. So I'm going to put all that stuff over here. We have a Jax Umaga figure. Look at that face. Freaking classic. Love to see that. Best of 2007 right there. Look at that bicep swivel. My God. Next up, guys, we have, oh my Lord in heaven. I don't even know who this is. Is this supposed to be Big Show? Holy Christ. Look at these boots. That is hilarious. Look at those nipples, Brad. God in heaven. That's that's greatness. This is greatness. Next up, we have a Jax Kane figure. Now, this one's nice. This is good stuff. I remember this being up on the shelf. Got a nice little massless cane right there. 2003, 2004. Next up, we have a the other half of the Young Bucks. We got another uh, Young Bucks base right there. Next up, guys, we have an Elite Apollo Crews, the United States champion in the house. Looking pretty good. Looks like a just standard dead stock Apollo Crews figure right there. Nice to have the United States champion represented in the video. We have the base of a Chris Masters Elite, which is also supposed to be in that custom batch, so he wants to convert this into a custom Elite Chris Masters, so that should be pretty nice right there. Never owned a Chris Masters figure, always wanted one, have not just yet, but you know, we'll get there. We have a debut John Cena prototype Toys R Us exclusive Elite, looking pretty freaking smazzy, pretty good condition. Next up, we have, what is this? I don't think I've ever owned this figure either. This is the LWO Eddie Guerrero from the 4-pack, and I have never owned this figure. Another beautiful looking figure that I've never owned, but it looks like he put an Alberto Del Rio head sculpt on it. And that's sick AF, man. Again, another figure I've never owned. I love that. I love when I get the unboxings of figures that I've never owned. What is this? What do we got right here? Oh my God in heaven. It is a custom elite Rey Mysterio. Holy God in heaven. Are we looking at this? Who even made this? Is this? I don't think this is Gene Addy's or Angel's work. But look at this. This is like one of my favorite Rey Mysterio attires. I had no idea that he would be sending us something like this. You guys can see there, you got greatest mask of all time in the blue and silver. Oh, Lord in heaven, this is sick as shit. Oh, man, I did not expect this whatsoever. This is hella nice. Thank you, bro. Oh, my God, that's that's a gem right there. I gotta set this off to the side. I don't want that to get damaged. That is a piece right there. I mean, I guess it was wrapped up for good reason. But oh my god, we have even more stuff in here. I gotta, I gotta get the stuff out of the way. I got new, more newspaper, Brad. Let's dive back in here. As we get back in here, what else do we have? We have a John Cena road dog base type ish going on. You got like a road dog head sculpt on a John Cena Elite 14 body, looking crazy with the arm sleeves right there. I love to see it. We have the Chris Masters basic body right there, good fodder. We have a flat Jacks United States champion and then a sewer cap from the old Jax figures, and then a Tully Blanchard Elite from the Hall of Fame 4-pack. What else we got in here? We got a Chris Masters boot. We got an Arn Anderson from that same Hall of Fame 4-pack. We got a Jax World Heavyweight Championship. We have an Alberto Del Rio. So this is the head swap right here. So we head swap this Alberto Del Rio Elite and this Eddie Guerrero Elite, so you guys can kind of see what we're getting right there. And low-key, this could possibly work for a base of Angel Garza, possibly. I may can swing that, do some a little customization right there. But there's your little head swap that uh, makes sense now. Next up is a Network exclusive, or Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive, Triple H in the Hunter Hearst Helmsley. We got some more Jax Championships, another Jax World Heavyweight title, and Mattel Flat Dull Gold United States Championship. A knee pad, another knee pad, a DDP hairpiece for the Kenny Omega. We have an Elite Booker T I think this is the Elite 46 Booker T figure, but he put a Velveteen Dream head sculpt on there, so you got a little you got a little fancy entire Velveteen Dream right there with bigger shoulders, practically. Never owned that Booker T figure from uh, the Harlem Heat. We have a four-pack Larry Zabisco figure, Target exclusive, another figure that I've never owned. So we're just hitting it home, bro. You did not have to send all this. This is freaking epic as hell. Another Chris Masters boot and Triple H head sculpt. We have a WWE Championship, a Jax World 
World Heavyweight title and Red Money in the Bank briefcase. An Elite 51 AJ Styles. Very underrated figure right here, man. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for this, man. This is excellent. Excellent. Alright, this is very interesting, okay? I want to say this is from the Defining Moments Undertaker, the first go-around. Not the second one with, uh, you know, the re-release of the San Diego exclusive, or San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I think this is from the, the Teardrop Undertaker with the bat wings, and I might be able to use this to, like, create an Undertaker figure, so that's very interesting that we got these legs. That is excellent. Is there anything else? Alright, we got two more things. Two more things. A big gold World Heavyweight Championship and a custom Rated R Edge t-shirt, and that is it for the box. Holy Christ, what a haul, Brad. What an epic fan mail unboxing, bro. Thank you so much to Ty for that epic unboxing. I gotta stack everything up right here because my God, look at the beautiful haul we got right here. Can't wait to get usage out of all this stuff. I'm in love with everything, bro. I cannot believe that you just sent me all this. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come to your house and slap you in your sleep. But a huge shout out to Ty for the epic fan mail unboxing and a huge another shout out to Jazzwares for hooking us up with these dome figures that are so amazing. I can't wait to set those up in a display or something. But I think that does it for this episode of My Damn Hauls, man. I think that, oh yeah, I almost forgot about the freaking beautiful Rey Mysterio custom. Oh my lord. But I think that about does it for this My Damn Hauls episode, man. I'm super hyped. I cannot believe that we got all this stuff. I appreciate everybody that sent something in. I appreciate all of you for watching. I cannot wait for more My Damn Hauls in the future. Can't wait till we get to number 100. But that is gonna do it for today's episode of My Damn Hauls. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.